Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Sherry. Thank you so much for tuning in. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to start your writing process. Many of us want to have a book. We want to write a book. We feel we have a book down inside of us that needs to come out and we don't know where to start. So I'm here to help you with that process. The first thing we're going to do is how to write. We're not going to start with a computer, a voice recorder. What we're going to simply do is we're going to go to the store and get a notepad and a pen. We're going to keep this very, very simple. I'm showing you exactly how I wrote my book, how I started my writing process. Um, and that was the easiest way for me. So I'm trying to make it easier on you. Um, you can do however you want to do if you want to sit with a computer. But I recommend that you wait till your second book. Wait till you have gotten um, your first book done and you have experienced that. Your first writing experience, I want you to get a notebook. And all I did was go to the store. Make sure that you get a big enough notebook that you will be able to write all of your book and other things that you may need because we're going to be tapping in to uh, the first part of the book and like the copyright and all that. We're not going to do that in this video. This video is strictly on how to start writing your first book. So, you know, we're going to save the um, title. We're going to save the copyright. We're going to save the introduction, all that. Um, later on but this video is geared specifically toward getting started writing and so you get a big enough notebook and a pen so that's step number one because you're going to be putting a lot of stuff in here you want to keep everything that you're going to do for your book in one notebook so you want to make it big enough you could get it with the sections the tabs all that but what I recommend is that you get one and put all your book my this is my actual book this is my actual um, draft. I put everything in here, so I keep this with me, um, even how I published it on Amazon. Everything is in this notebook. Step number two is you're going to have to find out where your quiet space is going to be. When is it going to be? Is it going to be at night? Um, do you like to write? You'll find this out as you go along. Maybe you'll try to write at night when the kids are in bed, um, but that's not working for you. Or maybe you find yourself wanting to sit at a Starbucks. You kind of can write with a little busyness going on and being in that kind of atmosphere. Maybe a McDonald's, maybe the mall, maybe just sitting in your living room on the couch and uh, while your kids play. I mean, you have to figure out what's best for you to write. Maybe it's not so quiet for you but for me i need a quiet time i need a quiet space because that is where your brainstorming is coming in all you're thinking about what you're going to write writing it down jotting down the ideas and things like that to figure that out where it will be when it will be and then you have your notepad so you have those two things down the next thing i want to talk about is the brainstorming the brainstorming because this is where now imagine you in a quiet space imagine you with your notebook imagine you with your notebook and your pen and you are sitting here brainstorming brainstorming means you're thinking jotting down your ideas there'll be a lot of them so there'll be a lot of writing down scribbling out don't tear that paper out keep that everything that you dot, jot down what you're brainstorming, what you're thinking about, you keep that for, for for reference and for future, you know, decisions when you have to make these decisions concerning your book. So um, you're brainstorming and what you are brainstorming about. Now, follow me. So you got the quiet space, you got the book, the notebook, and you got the pen. Now you're brainstorming what you want to write about. Now this video is geared specifically toward you writing your story. Right here is you want to figure out, do you want to write about your whole life? Or do you want to write about half of your life? Or do you just want to write about a specific event that happened in your life? So that's what you're going to figure out right now. So that's where you brainstorming. And so out of those three things, and there could be more, and I just want to throw this in your book, your life, your memoir, your your specific event that happened in your life you want to talk about. It doesn't always have to be bad. It doesn't always have to be Full of drama and craziness you can have something good maybe you are a um 
you had a really hard time or maybe you had a really good time, a good experience in college. Walk them through that experience. So everything doesn't always have to be bad and, and drama filled and things like that. Sometimes when we think about writing a book about our life, that it has to be so suspenseful and thriller and all this and it does so you got to figure out what you want to write about concerning your own life so now once you have made that choice what exactly are you going to write about we're going to go into number four your chapters so what you want to do is we're not focusing on anything else but those chapters right now starting your first book we want to keep it simple we want to keep it relatively small so we'll start with five to seven chapters my book was five chapters so that's what you have to do so you have to do a lot of brainstorming to really come up with that so you start with chapter one I know you're excited to go through the whole book, get the book done. Well, we got to take one step at a time, one small baby step at a time. And so you will write, start writing. And once you have your title, you kind of know where you're going in that because you want to, you don't want to run on. You just want to write about that chapter. We're, we're starting with chapter one, write about that chapter, what the title is about and write about that. In the next video, I will go over my chapters in my book to help you out a little bit. Maybe that can help you in your book writing, but I really hope you will be interested in my story. What I wrote about is nothing like what you see now. I am a product of God's grace and his mercy. I want you to keep in mind that when you are writing, Make sure that your book is not a woe is me book. That's what I'm trying to stress to people, that you're not just spewing your life out there and just for people to know because somebody, they didn't believe you or, you know, you want to hurt somebody or anything like that. Do not write a book. If that's where you just don't even write it um, because where I am in my life, uh, you're going to be held accountable to God for everything you do, even in your book. You cannot throw people under the bus in your book. Make your book about you so you could get a story out. Have a message behind it. So a message, like you might tell them, like in my book, I told them all the scary part, all the bad stuff. And then I brought them to a place of healing and hope and um, that it's not over, that you could be changed. You know, don't give up on yourself, you know, that kind of thing. So make it, you know, have something in there that you are you know giving to people follow me please subscribe to my channel because i have a whole lot to say about writing a book these little nuggets along the way to help you um get your first book written and published so that's all i have for you like i said five to seven chapters and title them and then begin on chapter one and just sit back find your quiet spot and just write a little bit each day even if it is a just like four or five sentences you know um but you as you go along you'll get used to writing a little bit more um because when you really have something to say inside and you want the world to know you'll get that book done okay so that's all i have for you in this video and um stay tuned don't forget to subscribe like share if you want to comment, please feel free. I need some feedback on um, how you think this video went. Did it help you any with your writing process? I will leave some links to other videos in my um, on my channel that I think is powerful for someone to watch, for you to watch. And that's all I have for you in this video. And you have yourself a wonderful, blessed day. Peace and blessings all in the name of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.